creating your tea right now, this next one might not be for you, a warning. Working with nature to solve humanity's problems is how one expert puts it. The insect industry is at its very early stages here in Scotland, but it's hoped it could form an important part of a sustainable agricultural future used for things like aquaculture and pet food. At the moment in the UK, the rules around the use of insect protein are tighter than elsewhere. Gillian Sharp has been writing out more. Meet part of what could be the future of farming in Scotland and beyond. From their base outside Edinburgh, this company supplies black soldier fly eggs to others to do the actual farming. Insects could effectively enable us to save the planet because they are a great way of producing protein locally and it means we can move away or at least supplement the existing protein sources we have which will not be able to keep up with demand from a growing world's population. This container of black soldier fly larvae is actually pulsating as they move around. They're at the middle stage of their life cycle and they're just eating as much as they possibly can. These spent grains at a local brewery have done their job as far as the beer is concerned and some are going to eat the larvae. Previously we had to have our uh, spent grain uplifted. It would then go into either landfill or uh, into um, energy uses. Uh, currently going to, to feed cows, but even better, going to feed uh, millions of tiny little insects. A huge insect plant in the Netherlands. In Scotland, things are at an early stage, but experts see great potential. It's very much working with nature to solve uh, humanity's problems, actually. They, they consume what we think of as, as food waste and other organic waste, so they're, they're perfectly evolved. Taylor loves his food. In this case, it's made using insect flour. This Dundee-based entrepreneur uses it to make sustainable dog food. Such a good starting point for this is our pets. Because anyone that owns a dog knows they don't share our food phobias. And at the end of the day, it is a phobia. And nutritionally speaking, and if you listen to the scientists, it's really healthy, it's really good for the planet. This new industry is just emerging, but likely to be a bigger part of our future. Gillian Sharp, reporting Scotland.